Where you're positioned on a surfboard when you're paddling has a massive effect on a whole range of things. But one key area which is really affected is when you catch a wave, when you paddle into a wave. Your position will either set you up for success or set you up for disaster. So the number one most common beginner mistake that I see, and even it can affect some intermediate level surfers, is the paddling position, where you are on your surfboard. If you're too far forward, too far to the left, too far to the right, or too far back, you're gonna have a whole range of issues. So in today's video, I'm gonna address how you can fix this. Hi guys, it's Ryan and welcome to How To Rip. In today's lesson of the week, I'm going to share with you a segment from one of my other tutorials from the Surfers Journey YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you head over there now and remember to hit that subscribe button. And remember that you can also follow us on Instagram at the Surfers Journey. But let's get into today's video. If we're too far forward on a surfboard, it's going to sink the nose, which is going to make it impossible to catch waves. If we're too far back, we're going to have all our weight at the back of the board, which is going to make it really hard for us to catch waves once again. Then if we're too far to the left or too far to the right of a surfboard, we're going to be unequally balanced and it's going to make us fall off. So one way you can get around all of this is by using the stringer of a surfboard or if you're on a foam surfboard, you can even draw down the center of the board with a piece of wax. You wanna make sure that that line goes straight down the middle of your chest and you can use that as a marker to help keep you centered. Now in regards to how far forward or how far back you should be on a board, it's really hard for me to say because every surfboard is different. So the only way to actually learn this is from time in the water. Like so many things with surfing, it is more time in the water, which is gonna help you develop more experience, which is gonna help you work out where that perfect spot is. And once you get this mastered, we can focus on the fun stuff. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. Remember, you can watch the full video over at the Surfers Journey YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the water. The Surfers Journey now has a range of apparel available, from beanies to t-shirts to hats and coffee cups. For more information on how you can place your order, email thesurfersjourney at gmail.com. Be sure to visit The Surfers Journey and check out some of our other videos, surfing tutorials from point of view, from the air and from the beach, and detailed, honest board reviews. You can also follow us on Instagram where we post hints and tips. Recently I designed our Shield logo, which forms part of our Protector Series range of t-shirts, hoodies and hats. All the profits raised from the sales of these items will be donated to the SAS Resources Fund and the Commando Welfare Trust. These organisations support veterans and their families from the Special Forces units here in Australia. These people have sacrificed greatly for the greater good of our community. And this is my way of trying to give back and say thank you. So the purpose of this is to help raise up our community of like-minded individuals who love to surf and also want to strive to serve the community in the best way they can. That's what this shield represents, that community. Email me at thesurfersjourney at gmail.com to place your order. Thanks guys, together we can make a difference. <laughs>